hey guys so today we're making some homemade pizza please make sure you like share comment and subscribe let's get started with the recipe i am just making a regular pizza it's gonna be a cheese pizza with some tomatoes on it it was supposed to be a margarita pizza but of course i didn't have like fresh mozzarella and all that stuff to really make it authentic so it's margarita style but anyway, we're going to make the sauce for the pizza. And so this is the same sauce that I made for the Detroit style pizza. And you can check that video out. I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. Um, but I am just sauteing um, one small uh, yellow onion. And then I'm adding in about six cloves of garlic. And then I am adding in about a teaspoon or so of tomato paste. And you're just going to saute that. Um, and then I'm adding in one big can of whole tomatoes. And so um, if you can find San Marzano tomatoes, please use those because they say those are like the gold standard for making your own sauce. But I couldn't find that at my local uh, grocery store. And so I just use the whole tomatoes, um, just the regular ones, or you can use crushed tomatoes if you want. And so now I'm just adding in about two to three teaspoons of sugar don't forget the sugar it helps to balance out the flavors and you know tomatoes can be acidic so that uh, sugar is really necessary guys and then I am just going to season this sauce um, season the sauce and you want to season every layer of your food we don't want no bland food y'all I don't care what seasonings you use just make sure your food is not bland so I added in some Italian seasoning, some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, garlic powder, adobo seasoning. And you want to taste this sauce to make sure that it is um, to your liking because you want it to taste good to you. And so next I'm just adding in some fresh chopped basil and then I'm just going to sizzle, not sizzle, simmer the sauce until um, it thickens up a little bit. So this is thicker than um, like your typical pizza sauce, but it is really good y'all. And so I'm just going to put it in a bowl and let it cool. So while our sauce cools down, I'm just going to make our dough. And so I'm starting with one cup of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of granulated sugar, um, about a teaspoon of salt. You want to make sure you season every layer of your food y'all. And then I'm going to add in one packet of pizza crust yeast and then uh, three tablespoons of vegetable oil and two thirds cup of warm water. And you want to make sure that your water is at least 120 degrees Fahrenheit between 120 and 130. But you don't want to kill the yeast y'all. And so this crust is different from the previous crust that I've made. Um, with this it said that you do not need to activate the yeast you know with the water and sugar and all of that first before adding your flour and you don't have to let it sit and proof so um, this was a lot easier and took a lot less time to make and so it does give you a guideline on the like the package it tells you how to make the dough and it gives you a guideline of how much flour you might need you don't want to add all of that flour in at one time so I'm adding it in like after I did my initial one cup, I started adding it in maybe like half a cup at a time because you only want to add enough until the dough starts to come together kind of like it is right now in my uh, mixer. And you don't need a mixer for this recipe, y'all. I'm just, again, being extra. Um, but you can totally do this by hand um, and you would just add flour until it starts to form a, a, a ball kind of like this. And if you are using a mixer, mixer um, you would you know mix it until the dough starts to come together in, from the sides of the bowl and so i'm just going to take my dough out of here and then i am going to put it on a floured surface and make sure you put some flour on your hands and your rolling pin and i'm just going to roll my dough out and so i had to do this a few times because i kept getting holes in my dough i guess i was doing too much but anyway i'm just going to roll this out um into i guess like a large size pizza but you could cut the dough in half and make two i think they said two 12 inch pizzas so it's really your choice
and right here I'm just trying to stretch the dough and obviously I am not a professional so this is where I started to get holes in my dough so I had to keep rolling it out and starting over but anyway this is what we finally came up with and now I'm just adding in my sauce that has cooled down and I'm just gonna spread it um, on my pizza you want to make sure that you leave some room along the edges so that um, you can actually pick the pizza up and have the crust um, and then I'm adding in some mozzarella and provolone cheese and this is just um, some Sargento cheese you can use whatever cheese you want um, but that's the combination mozzarella and, and provolone and so I'm adding that and then I'm gonna add some freshly sliced tomatoes you can add whatever toppings you want um, and then I'm just going to sprinkle on some Italian seasoning because what we don't want no bland food and then I baked it in the oven and I'll be sure to put the instructions in the description box below but this was super easy this was super delicious um very simple and y'all like I said I'm not a professional and no my pizza is not burnt I do like my pizza well done because I don't really like cheese y'all if you don't know that by now I don't like cheese but I just garnished it with some basil um and yeah this is the finished product I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe please make sure you like share comment and subscribe see you next time bye